glad to be here to talk a little bit about the Salt Waste Processing Facility Project and some of the innovative things that we're doing there to reduce risk and save significant amounts of money for our client, the Department of Energy. Uh, first, let me give you some background on the Salt Waste Processing Facility. It's a multi-billion dollar radiochemical plant that is primary mission is to decontaminate and stabilize approximately 100 million gallons of radioactive liquid waste uh, that is a, a byproduct of the nuclear materials production processes that have supported the weapons program at Savannah River uh, for about 50 years. The <clears throat> salt waste processing facility uses two primary processes with regards to achieving that decontamination stabilization. The first is addition of a powder monosodium titanate that it adsorbs plutonium and strontium, which is then that is subsequently filtered out uh, and removed. The filtrate moves forward containing cesium and is removed through a solvent extraction process using centrifugal contactors and an engineered organic solvent. So that's the background on what the salt waste processing facility does. Uh, with regards to some recent innovation that Parsons has been able to bring to the table is we have worked with the Department of Energy and their national laboratories, the, specifically the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, on an enhanced extractant molecule for use with the existing equipment and process flow sheet that it has the potential to increase our throughput processing rates by anywhere from 200 to 300 uh, percent. The benefit of that, of increasing that throughput, and what Parsons' role has been, has been to demonstrate primarily the viability and working to show that at an industrial scale, the processes and, and uh, the chemicals developed by the national laboratories can be implemented uh, successfully. Uh, the benefit to this is that each of the process of decontaminating the salt solution is critical path on the cleanup for the Savannah River site uh, tanks and materials that liquid radioactive waste material, uh, just managing it is on the order of 500 million gallons a year in terms of cost. For every year that that can be shortened in terms of processing quicker, we'll save the government on the order of $500 million. So if our baseline process was 6 million gallons a year uh, to process 100 million gallons of, of waste, we're on the order of a just under 20 year processing campaign. If we could increase that, which we think we are going to be able to do based on our full-scale testing and some uh, hot pilot testing, increase that throughput to 12 million gallons a year will decrease the overall time to process that waste and its need to be managed by on the order of 10 years. That 10-year decrease in, in risk gets the material out of aging tanks at the Savannah River site that the state of South Carolina has indicated represents the single largest environmental hazard in the state. Uh, so obviously that's a major risk reduction goal and on uh, from a cost standpoint 10 years less of having to manage that waste is on the order of 10 times 500 million a year or 5 billion upwards of 5 billion dollars in cost savings for the government. So it's been a very very uh, successful uh, endeavor Parsons partnership with the, the Department of Energy to develop this innovative uh, solvent as well as being able to really uh, leverage the existing infrastructure the department has, has had. So the investment in moving to next generation solvent is probably on the order of 30 to 50 million dollars with the potential upside of saving the government uh, 10 years of, of potential risk posture as well as five billion dollars. So I think it fits very well with the corporate's core values of innovation, client satisfaction, and, and integrated risk reduction.